in this video we will discuss about creating a composite image from Landsat image uh, first of all we need to open an arc map I have already opened my new document in arc map just using an add data tool here I am navigating to the place or the folder that I have connected before where all my emails are located okay this one is a landsat add uh, folder where there is a different you can see here a different band of images i will add few of them to make a one composite band just adding this all and clicking okay yes you can see the files or the image that I have selected is now listed separately in table of content and if you don't have a table of content you can go through windows menu here you can see table of content click on then click on it yeah you can now view your table of contents there are two ways for creating a composite image um, the first one is again go to uh, windows then you can see image analysis option click on it yes you can see the image analysis windows here then highlight all the bands you wanted to you want to compose it or make a one image then on the processing option here there is a composite band this one this one is the composite band icon click on it this button creates a temporary com composite image containing all highlighted above bands composite image will allow us to display the emails and colors from um, grayscale to RGB that is red, green, and blue. I'm clicking on it now. You can see your composite image. This one is is colored image now. Now let us discuss what we see in table of contents. It shows that the composite images have RGB here. The red is in band number one, green is band number two, blue is band number three. This band is um, or has defaulted by ArcMap itself to RGB order, but the Landsat images or bands that are still displayed in order one, two, three can be changed. We'll discuss in another tutorial for um, band combinations. This one, changing the band is known known as a band combination. As I have said before, that the composite uh, tool that is used in image analysis option is is only for making a temporary file. So, if you uh, if you are finding your files after closing all the map arc map windows then you cannot be able to find uh, your files so for making it making it permanent you must uh, save the file so under the image analysis window you can see here on the processing here is the save button okay click on it then you can see this dialog box as of the settings in the top of the windows as i have shown here then at the button you can see the location save to a place where you can easily extract your uh, emails or the folder that has been connected before then write the name format is tif and leaving all the same 
and remember one thing that uh, the location uh, that you have been saving your file um, must be connected in ArcMap. Um, in tutorial 2, I have shown the uh, procedure for connecting, how to connect your files or folders in ArcMap. So, to extract or to import your file again in ArcMap, you must have connected your folders. Then I click on save. Okay, you can see now your emails have been saved from catalog tool. You're in the catalog tool, I'll go to a place where I have saved it. Yes, you can see the file here that I have saved is here. And another way for making a composite image is uh, using Arc Toolbox. Here in ArcMap, there are different tools for analyzing, interpreting the emails. So beside image analysis, there's other tool. In Arc Tool here, this one is Arc Tool option. I'll click on it. Yeah. Here, see, here you can see a number of tools and there is a data management tool as well. I'll click on it, then go into a raster, and raster processing. You can see composite here. Yes, click on it. So one of the advantages of using this um, composite under Arc Toolbox is that it has to create a permanent file. So you need not to save again after making composite file. Yes, yeah, okay, in input raster, just add all the bands that you want to make composite. I'm adding this band only. Yeah. And okay. Then there is output, the location uh, where you want to save your file. Okay. And leaving all the settings same, I'll just click on OK. It will take a little time to make or to for processing yes yeah you're now composite emails is displayed in this window to see whether your file is permanent or not obviously it will make permanent itself using this tool I'm going through again a catalog and the folder where I've saved it Yes, you can see your file is saved properly. In this way, uh, you can make a composite image that will help you for the further analysis. One thing is to be considered while uh, making a composite image is which band is to be selected. I have selected those bands that have the same resolution. I'll show you one file about band designation. I have added the link in the description box as well. Okay, going in Lancet 8, which I had previously used to make a composite image. Here, um, if you have remember which of the band I have used to make a composite image then uh, you will clearly know seeing this table I have used band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9 which represents resolutions of 30 meters so I had combined these bands 
yeah and uh, another one is band number eight is panchromatic band that one is 15 meter resolution i'll talk it i'll talk about it later on in another tutorial about this and the next thing is that resolution 30 meters between resolution 30 meters and 50 meters the 30 meters image will be less clearly seen than the 15 meter 15 meter images are have a high resolution size than 30 meters so in this way you can combine uh, the bands having the same resolution and ultimately make a one composite image